want to avoid the bad weather, the ship's bridge has a variety of equipment and tools for that. Let's go through them. Routine charts. Routine charts are essential for use in passage planning for ocean voyages. These charts assist bridge officers in high-level route planning information, including wind roses, showing wind speed and direction, the frequency and the intensity of storms and low pressure, ocean currents, sea and air temperatures, air pressure and ice limits based on data averages, and common routes taken by other ships. Each charted area contains 12 separate charts for each calendar month, covering meteorological and oceanographic conditions that change throughout the year. Synopsis charts. The circular lines you see on the chart are isobars, which join areas of the same barometric pressure. The closer the isobars, the stronger the winds tend to be. Pressure pattern is important because we can use it to tell us where the wind is coming from and how strong it is. In the northern hemisphere, winds circle around high pressure in a clockwise direction and anti-clockwise around areas of low pressure. These charts provide information about the tropical storms as well, such as moving direction and speed. The synopsis charts are printed by an equipment called weather chart facsimile or weather fax. Each ship is provided with this device which has a receiver with a printing facility to enable weather patterns showing isobars and barometric pressures to be printed at regular intervals. You can receive weather warnings or weather information from an equipment called Navtex. The Navtex system broadcasts coastal warnings that cover the area from the shore station out to about 300 nautical miles from the transmitter. You can either read these messages from the, its display, the electronic chart screen, or simply through the printout. You can use barometers to predict short-term change in the weather. Your barometer actually has two different hands, or indicators. The black indicator hand always points to the current air pressure. The gold constant indicator can be turned to match the current barometric pressure. This makes changes easy to see. A change to high pressure means good weather is ahead. A change to low pressure means bad weather is on the way. You can change it, but at least you can be prepared. Barograph A barograph is a barometer that records the barometric pressure over time in graphical form. This instrument is also used to make a continuous recording of atmospheric pressure. Anemometer The anemometer is an equipment which measures both wind speed and wind direction simultaneously. This equipment shows on display the relative direction and relative speed of wind flowing above your traveling vessel. It is either fixed or manual anemometer. In Marsat C. This is the same as Navtex, but it receives the information from the shore stations through the satellites. You can either read the information from the screen or print out. The shipping companies invest in softwares to monitor the weather forecast. Check up to 7 days ahead in different intervals. You can select customized displays depending on your monitoring and you can have a full report for any given position. For more checks, you can use online free websites such as windy.com, where you can check the weather worldwide, rain and snow, thunderstorm, temperature, humidity, visibility, waves, etc. Up to 5 free days for free account. The second online website is Passage Weather, where you can select different regions 
stay the next days with their conditions. The last website which I use personally is the Japan Meteorological Agency. To track and monitor the hurricanes and tropical storms. Good planning and continuous weather monitoring can help you avoid the big waves and sail in the calm seas. Thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to see each other next week. Thanks for watching, bye.